In this presentation, we will set up a new payroll item related to vision insurance, which is employee paid before taxes. We'll compare and contrast this insurance to the dental insurance in the past, it having similar characteristics, the difference being this before taxes item. We will enter this information into QuickBooks online for more accounting information and accounting courses visit our website at accountinginstruction.info here we are in our s corp paid payroll file we're going to go down to our workers section we're in our workers section we're going to go down to our employee and we're going to say hey anthony we've added now vision insurance would you like to participate in that and anthony's going to say yeah i'd like to do that so we're going to go into Anthony as our employee. We're going to select the pay item with the pencil up top. We're going to scroll down to section three where we had the 401k and the dental provider. Now we're going to add a new deduction. So we're going to go into the new deduction. We're going to deduct a contribution type. So we'll select this item. We're looking at the health insurance type of deductions. So health insurance type of deductions and then the type notice we have the, the three types here they're similar in many ways so we're going to look at similar kind of options as we choose them and go through the different um different three these different three we did dental insurance last time you'll see a very similar set of options for the vision insurance so we'll select the vision insurance we're going to select the provider which is just going to be we're just going to call it eye provider so it's the eye provider and that's going to show up on the paycheck and that of course is the private provider of the vision insurance who we're going to have to pay the vendor vision insurance for uh the vision insurance and then we're going to go back down and we got the employee deduction what is going to be the amount of the deduction we have the dollar amount or the percentage of gross pay once again this is probably one where we're not going to use a percentage of gross pay it's going to be a standard dollar amount per time period so we're probably going to be using a dollar amount here we're going to say it's 25 just for our example no maximum so if there was some type of maximum premium then uh, for the year we can take out you know up to that point whatever that premium maximum is we're not going to have a uh, company paid contribution so this isn't going to be company paid it's going to come out of the employee gross pay then we have our options down here which are taxable insurance premiums versus the pre-tax insurance premiums this time we're going to check the pre-tax insurance premiums which will have an impact on the tax calculations as opposed to the last time with the dental insurance, which were, we said was uh, taxable insurance premiums. So in other words, if it's taxable, it's just going to be something that's going to be taken out of the gross pay, but not have an impact on the calculations of taxes, such as the employee or, or the employer, but the employee to get to the gross pay or net check of federal income tax, social security and Medicare. Now we're saying it's pre-tax, which means it will have an impact potentially on the amount of tax calculations, the federal income tax, and possibly even Social Security and Medicare, which would be great. Again, we're not getting into the details here about whether how to qualify for these two. We're just getting into the logistics of how you can put this information into the system and what the differences between those two will be. And obviously, if you can qualify here for a benefit to the employee that will be pre-tax, then that would be a much better benefit because not only will you give them the benefit of the group insurance paying it for them out of their check rather than them having to deal with you know another bill they got to pay but also giving a tax benefit which would be great so we're going to say okay on that and then we'll say done at the bottom and we're all set up we're going to go back up top and see this blue list item and that'll take us back to our normal payroll setting we are where we are now ready to process another payroll for this employee and compare and contrast it to prior payrolls where we did not have this new payroll item related to uh, eye insurance or vision insurance for more accounting information and accounting courses visit our website at accountinginstruction.info